What picture do you see when you hear the word investor? Warren Buffett, Richard Branson. But what about women investors? The word investor seems to conjure up men. But there are women investors, of course there are women investors. And they don't all look like the ones on Shark Tank or Dragon's Den. <laughs> Each of us has our own investment journey and mine started about a dozen years ago in Los Angeles. After selling a company I built with an amazing woman partner, it just seemed natural that I would start helping women entrepreneurs. It started by listening, giving a little bit of advice, making some contacts, and then I met a fantastic woman entrepreneur. I was her client, sometimes that's how it starts. Cynthia Wood. She had a great background and a great business plan, but no bank was gonna lend to a new entrepreneur. They still don't. I had capital, she needed it. I thought this would be a way that I could pay it forward, support a community-based business that I could believe in, in the health and wellness space, and it just made sense to me. So I became an angel investor, someone who believes in a business, invests in it early. <coughs> this was meaningful, this was local, and this was my first chance to use my investment capital in a different way. And then I met a set of extraordinary, now iconic entrepreneurs. Gary Hirschberg from Stonyfield Farm, organic yogurt company in the States. Anita Roddick from The Body Shop. Ben Cohen from Ben & Jerry's. And others. These were people who were using the world to change the way business, changing the way business happens in the world. Making a difference, these were brands that I could really believe in. A couple of nights ago, I had a chance to meet a woman who is reinventing the toilet. She's tackling the huge global problem that 2.6 billion people don't have access to sanitation, including those of us who go to Glastonbury and Burning Man. Her ambition, her drive is so extraordinary and I realize that's the kind of investor that I want to be, someone who works on both local and global problems. So, It's clear to me, this is the place I want to be, but there aren't enough women in this picture. <coughs> women are just not showing up. Women are way underrepresented in this. They're missing out, and the world is missing out because smart, capable women aren't there. Look, I could go into a litany of reasons why we're not there, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about how we get more of us into this picture. And it's not by talking to him, financial advisor, typical. Put whatever name you want on him. His vocabulary includes risk and return, volatility and liquidity, asset allocation. I get it, of course those things are really important. But my vocabulary includes impact, social impact, community impact, impact on the environment. You see, I have two ideas in this talk. One is that more women need to be active investors, and the other is that more women can be impact investors. I care about social impact. If women haven't been in the picture and are starting now, why not recreate how investing happens? Really rethink investing overall, reshape how market systems work. We can, we already have started. I love the way women I know invest. We're curious. We have a different perspective. We think co cooperation, collaboration, connection, communication. We're still tough, we ask more questions. We don't assume that we know things. We invest when it makes sense to us. And we think about how we influence others and in using their money. Whether you call it social investing, values-led investing, impact investing, it's all the same. It's about investing with purpose. Focusing on how a company's run, not just what it does or makes. It's investing to improve things, the environment, education, healthcare, sanitation. You get the idea. So women need to be in this picture because we're missing half the intelligence without us. Emotional intelligence, market intelligence, business intelligence. Women in the US own 10 million businesses, employ 19 million workers, 40% of the small businesses in the US are owned by women. In the UK in 2009, 
Women-owned businesses contributed 70 billion pounds to the UK economy. We run 80% of the world's NGOs, but we're not showing up and seeing ourselves as investors. Less than 15% of angel investors in the United States are women, not even half of that here in the UK. Less than 10% of fund managers, investment fund managers, are women. And yet, we control in the developed world significant investment assets. We make three quarters of the purchasing decisions in households. In our lifetimes, women have redefined the household. We've redefined the workplace. But we've barely just begun to redefine investing. Why is this so damn urgent? Think about climate change. Think about the economic status of women, healthcare, education, violence against women and girls, sanitation, you name it. This is now. This is not 10 years from now, 20 years from now. This is now. Impact investing is hopeful. It's an act of faith. Maybe I'll invest in the entrepreneur, the business that is going to solve the food crisis, the water crisis, the health crisis. And when we invest in women and people that aim to change the world, the world will change. I've invested in startups, lots of them. I could talk with you for days about each one, and I would love to be able to tell you about rethinking family farming by investing in a hot dog company like Let's Be Frank, rethinking how we do tourism and hospitality by investing in an eco-resort that's conserving 80% of the land and changing how people think about we use, how we use water and energy, investing in a company called Daily Worth, which is about changing how we enable women's financial literacy. There are so many incredible stories behind these companies, but I don't have time. I've invested in social impact funds, I've invested in microfinance, smallholder farmers in Africa and Latin America. I've invested in a socially responsible bank. I've looked at my public equities, rated by how hip they are, measuring human impact and profit. I've invested $1,000 and I've invested 50,000 pounds into community investment, into companies, into funds, even through crowdfunding. These are all things that you can do. And I'm part of networks of investors who think the way I do. This is part of how I've learned. And my investment network, my angel network here, Clearly Social Angels, we're about half women. I can tell you it feels different for both the men and the women in the group. I've learned a lot. I'm still learning. Not everything's made money, but it's all had an impact. And that's the point of impact investing. Impact is 21st century profit, financial returns, and social and environmental. And it doesn't hurt that I love these businesses and the entrepreneurs behind them. I love my new picture. I'm part of the solution. And because I'm an investor, I have influence. I get to talk about how we measure success, how we think about labor policies, how we think about workers, how we think about supply chains. My money is filled with life. I'm filled with life. And I've been thinking a lot about life. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I learned from cancer, everybody's got something. Something that makes us think, why am I here? What am I going to do before I'm gone? What do I want to leave behind? Something like cancer makes you really think about what's important. All of these businesses are important. They're all part of creating the solution. And if each of us chooses to invest this way, then we're all getting to create that solution. So are you with me? Are you seeing yourself in this picture yet? Start today. Take a risk. Dare to be optimistic. Pick one problem you care about, one issue you're passionate about, where you see there's an opportunity. Just go for it. See yourself in a new picture. Recreate the picture for all of us. And now when I say investor, who do you see? Thanks.